Welcome guys, today another day uh, Before I discovered this head gasket and the cylinder head is not great Seller uh, told me to refund me half of the price I paid for this engine So not bad, I got spare head I'm not worrying now Today I was gonna try to put this block on the stand So that's why I bought these new M12 rods You need like 4 pieces about this long one here one here one there and secure it with nuts but later when you install the bracket So yeah guys, it's not easy job to put the engine on a stand uh, But even uh, without the head I managed to do it, but with the head it's easier You got the uh, hooking points No problem with that So what I want to do now, I don't know if I'm going to be removing these I'm just going to pull the uh, front pulley And I want to check the crankshaft Maybe one of the pistons and that's it. I'm gonna drain the oil, some coolant left to not make any mess, but first I wanna get rid of that pallet to make more room in the garage. guys as you can see the engine is on the stand well part of the engine is on the stand I wanna tell you something about removing the head I was recording a video about that but somehow I did record nothing I did record after I was uh, done with the head bolts so as you can see there's a blow on each cylinder between the cylinders so it's not great news Cylinder head is worked. The seller he gonna uh, refund me for that, so I'm quite happy about that. But if you're removing the cylinder head, first thing you need to do is keep the pattern when you're removing the head. For this engine, you starting from unbolting from outside to inside, keeping the X pattern. It's very simple. You start from edges and you're finishing on those two. Another thing is, we know that this is aluminium block and this is very like, um, probably not steel, but they are stretched uh, head bolts. So if we know this is aluminium block and this is like hard metal, 
aluminum doesn't like heat it's flexing is bending is changing shape is make is getting softer so when you're removing these make sure you're not gonna overheat the threads by removing the 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 bolt on one go what you do you just go from outside to inside by few stages click 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 later you do another click if it's uh, still pre uh, occurring or you just do like five degrees five degrees five degrees five degrees later ten degrees ten degrees I recommend doing this on four at least three or four stages until uh, the head bolts are loose and that's gonna keep you away from a big risk of pulling the frets if the engine wasn't overheating the head is fine you not probably not gonna have any problems with that if it was overheated you still might have a problem because they've been like pulled so you still might have a problem but still keep doing that and you know the chances are smaller another thing if you installing new ones back you want them to be lubricated to again smoother action and cooling down of the frets so the torque settings torque torquing down the head can be applied without any problem there will be no noises squeaking like uh, terrible like noise when you torquing down the head bolts and it's a lot easier less risk of overheating and having trouble with pulled thread so small thing to remember if you have a block on the car and you're just finishing and you have a pull thread what are you gonna do yeah so that's it from me thank you for watching and see you next time